All right, guys, we're back. Um, I ran over my cable, so we'll see if I can still upload videos or not. It'd be awkward if I can't. Uh, yeah, that might be a might be a trip to the, to the hardware store. By hardware, I mean uh, you know Best Buy. Uh, oh well, we'll find out. But what we have tonight is succulent, tasteful alliances with some Egyptians. Maybe. Maybe we hit an invocation. Let's start. Last time I think we went with alliances first. Let's start with almond cat. Let's see what we get. Um, I do have a lot of almond cat bulk. Um, the lands, tokens I think are part of that. But I have a lot of these commons and uncommons in there, and you would be you would be pleasantly surprised to know that a lot of these move pretty well. Um, I have not had a chance to get all of them listed yet and uploaded, but, you know, by the time this video goes up and things are get moving, you know, we're entering into the final phases of the bulk buy from last year now. Ooh, that's nice. Artifacts. Uh, let's see, gain one life, put a brick counter. You gain two life, activate this ability to fill three more brick counters. Huh. That seems like a not terrible card. Probably using some artifact decks. The trial of knowledge. Boom. Okay, well, I can tell that we didn't hit the one mythic that is worth a ton of money in this set. Throne of the God Pharaoh. And we have a lovely little bland. It's not a full art, a random. Does that count as one of the cards? I hope not. 15 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, it doesn't. That's just a random, random slot in. Huh. Wait, let's see if it's real. Is it real? Oh, it's a fake card. Oh my god, there's no blue core. The world is ending, guys. Oh dear lord. Look at that. Look at that. There's no blue core. It's official. Watsy sent out fake cards in Almond Cat. They're not real. Oh no. The world is truly ending. It's all on fire. This is not acceptable. The only way that we can feel better about this is if we open up some alliances and get further wrecked. Anyway. So we're looking for nice reserveless hits, you know, Force of Will would be pretty sick. You definitely wouldn't wouldn't be upset about that. Uh, do I have it on the desk? I might, I don't know if I have it on the desk or not. I found it again. Oh, is this it? Uh, nope, okay, well, whatever. But, I found the Force of Will that I graded. And, let's see here we go. That should be our rare. Slash our uncommons. Insidious bookworm. Set this off to the side. So, what is, what is, kind of, I want to, I'm curious what your guys' thoughts are right now, right? So, like, we have... We have like flesh and blood, the alpha arc, you know, crew first. All this stuff is kind of like declining. Vintage magic is doing. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> um, vintage magic is kind of doing the same thing, right? It's like really just falling flat, not really going anywhere. Like a lot of these like old school collectibles are kind of just like flat right now. Do you guys feel like this is a good time to start picking stuff up again? I picked up this alliances box when it dipped last time. I picked up a revi I picked up a revised booster box with Saint. Uh, we ended up getting burned a little bit on the revised box. And I think we paid nine for is what we agreed to, and then you know now they're floating around like seven to eight. So like we got we got a little a little cooked on that one, but nothing crazy. And then alliances has stayed pretty flat. I think I paid like sixteen. And this is like about a year ago, and I think those boxes are around like fourteen now, fourteen fifteen. So again, like pretty pretty marginal marginal amounts of like losses on those like less than a little over 10 percent revised a little over 10 percent on alliances you know nothing nothing super crazy nothing super bad but do you guys really think like this is a good time to go in and pick this stuff up i mean is anyone actually p picking up full graded sets of alliances yet like i don't i don't know it'd be it'd be interesting to me to see like i feel like there's interesting markets we could explore but i don't know if it's worth exploring them yet or if it's ever worth exploring them Man, this old this old art though is just so nice. 
This this bro is like definitely like this dude like woke up and then he's like, oh god, I'm just I'm going back to bed. Send in, send the pigeon out, Bob. Bob, send the pigeon. Go back to bed. Like. <laughs> That's that's what this bro's doing. He's like he's like ready for bed. <laughs> he's like going back to be like screw this shit. I'm out of here. Heaven, stench of decay, man, dude. Someone ripped one in the room, and this poor dude is just unhappy. All right, that's definitely our first uncommon slash rare. Okay, let's see here. Unlikely alliance. Yo, Cyclops chick. Look at the bro. Look at the Victorian dude with the Cyclops lady with a battle axe. Like they're ready to like clown, bro. They're coming in. They're coming into clown. Feast or famine. That's actually a decent hit, I believe, or was. I need to double check on that one. I'm gonna look that up real quick after this is done. Blue. Do it blue. Do it blue. Oh no, blue. Wait. Is that of our childs? Is that of our childs? Oh, be of our childs. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> that's a that's a nice little reserveless card. I will take that. This card is I've tried to find like eight different decks for this to play in because like I'm just desperate to make it work, and uh, I've uh, I've never been able to get it to work in uh, any deck. But on a on a mere on a mere whim one day, I will admit that I may or may not have bought a few Varchild's War Riders. Just because, you know, entertainment reasons. I was bored one day and I was like, you know, this is a cheap alliances card. This seems really good. And uh, I was I was politely told by my buddy that it, it was in fact not a good card. Um, but you know, I do have I do have some of them though. So, you know, this is kind of like my official buyout list card. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna retire on this. I just want you guys to know that all all six copies that I now own of Varchilds. That's my retirement right there. We're, we're retiring on Varchilds War Riders. Million dollar card right there. That's 100% retirement money. That's uh, clap and cheeks levels of awesome. Let me look up Feast or Famine real quick. Do a quick rolly around here. Huh. Yeah, no, never mind. That's worth about six cents. That's a big old fat rip. I wonder what I'm thinking of. I feel like there's a card somewhere with like feast in it that's worth like decent decent bits of money or famine. I don't remember which. One of them was like good money, I think. But you know, it is what it is. We got some nice reserve lists. Not gonna complain about that. I think these are our uncommons right here our commons, or etc. So, I mean, we didn't do horrible. You know, it's like five bucks. We paid like 40 bucks for the pack. You know, banger. Absolute profit. But that's how we roll, boys. Maximum gains, utter stonkage. And uh, come see me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I am, I'm officially broke after this opening video. I spent my entire life savings on this, uh, this one pack of uh, magic. I am now bankrupt. Uh, it is a it is an awesome time to be alive. Uh, I just want you all to know that uh, this is this is going to be my ever last video forever. Uh, remember, make lots of poor choices, buy all my cards, and uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Bye.